This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I get the subtool eyeball icon to work like it did in 4R7? So to start off, I just have ZBrush 4R7 P3 loaded up, and I just have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about the functionality of the subtool eyeball icon in 4R7. So this icon lives in the subtool palette. So with earthquake here, I'm gonna navigate over the tool palette. I'm gonna open up the subtool palette over here. And in here, you can see a list of all the subtools that are creating Earthquake here. And on each of these subtools, you'll notice there is this eyeball icon. Now, inside of ZBrush 4R7, if you had a subtool selected and you came across that selected subtool and turned off the eyeball icon by clicking, every single other subtool would also have its eyeball icon turned off. Now this functionality is handy for quickly coming through and toggling on and off all the subtools in your scene. However, if you had a few hundred subtools here and you had gone through and displayed and hidden certain ones, and then you accidentally came across the selected subtool and clicked on that eyeball icon, all those visibility options that you just set would totally be erased. So if you wanted to return back to where you were, you'd have to turn on all the subtools again and then go through your subtool list and hide and show the ones you wanted again. Now from ZBrush 4R8 to the most current version of ZBrush, this functionality was changed, but the original functionality is still there. So here in ZBrush 2018, I have Earthquake loaded in. And if I go to my subtool palette, you'll see that I have his body selected, and if I come across the eyeball icon now and click, you'll notice that it's not going to toggle all the subtools on and off. So this is preventing the accidental clicking of the eyeball icon on the selected model, which would change the visibility across all your subtools. Now, if you are used to the 4R7 structure and you liked the option of coming across and toggling the eyeball icon on the selected subtool to show and hide all the subtools, all you need to do is hold down the shift key and then click the eyeball icon on the selected subtool. When you're holding down shift and then clicking the eyeball icon, it will perform the same functionality that was in ZBrush 4R7. So to recap, to change the visibility across all the subtools in your scene, you simply first just need to select a subtool, then hold down the shift key and click on the eyeball icon of that selected subtool. While holding shift and clicking on the eyeball icon, this will toggle the visibility on or off across all your subtools. If you do not have shift held and you simply click on the eyeball icon, this will only change the visibility of the selected subtool. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.